What if you possessed the power to erase your most harrowing memory? Not merely to suppress it, nor to consign it to the distant recesses of your mind, but to expunge it entirely, as though it had never cast its shadow upon your life. Such an idea might seem the exclusive preserve of speculative fiction, the stuff of dystopian dramas or the fevered imaginings of futurists. Yet, in the vanguard of modern neuroscience, researchers are inching ever closer to transforming this audacious concept into reality. The implications are profound, promising to reshape our understanding of memory, trauma, and ultimately, the very essence of who we are. The narrative unfolds with a molecule of singular intrigue ZIP, short for Zeta Inhibitory Peptide. Back in the late 2000s, researchers at SUNY Downstate Medical Center were studying how memories are stored in the brain. In a series of elegant experiments, they conditioned rats to associate an innocuous sound with a fleeting yet unpleasant electrical shock. The rats learned quickly, whenever they heard the sound they'd freeze, expecting the shock. Yet, it is at this juncture that the tale takes a most remarkable turn. With surgical precision, scientists introduced ZIP into a region of the brain known as the hippocampus, the very seat of memory. The result was nothing short of astonishing. The learned association simply vanished. It was as though the memory had been meticulously excised, leaving no trace of confusion or collateral impairment, only the selective erasure of a singular recollection. But how does ZIP orchestrate such a feat? For years, the prevailing hypothesis posited that it achieved this by inhibiting an enzyme called PKM Zeta, a molecular custodian of memory stability. Recent discoveries, however, have illuminated an even more captivating dimension to this scientific odyssey. ZIP, a cationic peptide of formidable positive charge, initiates a fascinating cascade upon its cerebral ingress. When ZIP enters the brain, it causes neurons to start a process called endocytosis. Endocytosis is how brain cells swallow molecules, like a cellular gulp, to absorb nutrients, signals, or clean up waste. Here's the key. ZIP makes brain cells remove AMPA receptors from their surfaces. These receptors, serving as the quintessential docking ports, are indispensable for synaptic communication and the consolidation of memory. Take them away, and the memory trace literally disappears, and the effect is permanent, at least for that memory. The neural architecture remains unscathed, retaining its capacity for fresh learning, yet the obliterated memory is irretrievably consigned to oblivion, never to be resurrected. This discovery isn't just a cool science trick, it could change lives. Imagine if we could erase the emotional sting of a traumatic memory for someone with PTSD, or disrupt the powerful memories that drive addiction, or even help restore healthy brain function after an injury. For millions of people, the ability to selectively erase a damaging memory could be life-changing. It is not merely ZIP that wields this formidable capacity. Indeed, a veritable cohort of cationic peptides, molecules endowed with a comparable positive charge, can likewise precipitate this astonishing effacement of memory. Illustrious researchers have elucidated that this phenomenon is contingent upon the presence of a protein christened endophilin A2, an indispensable agent for the orchestration of this rarefied form of endocytosis. What is truly remarkable is the exquisite selectivity of this effect. Only those memories ensconced within the specifically targeted cerebral region are expunged, and it is exclusively the most recently established clusters of AMPA receptors that succumb to this molecular coup de grace. And here's a twist. After erasure, the animals can relearn the same task, proving their brains are still healthy and plastic. Of course, this discovery raises big questions. First, safety. High doses of ZIP can be toxic in cell cultures, so any future therapies would need to be carefully controlled. Second, ethics. Should we have the power to erase memories? What if someone abused this technology or erased memories without consent? And finally, there's still debate over the exact mechanism. For years, scientists thought ZIP worked by blocking PKM Zeta, but knockout experiments showed ZIP still erases memories even when that enzyme is missing. The real culprit seems to be its positive charge and the way it triggers endocytosis. This pioneering research has indelibly transformed our conceptualization of memory itself, positing that the very persistence of recollection is inextricably tethered to the corporeal presence of AMPA receptors at the synaptic interface. The tantalizing prospect thus emerges, by deftly modulating these molecular sentinels, we may one day possess the Promethean ability to edit, expunge, or perhaps even resurrect the vestiges of memory.
This research has revolutionized our understanding of memory. It suggests that the physical presence of AMPA receptors at synapses is what keeps a memory alive. By manipulating these receptors, we might one day be able to edit, erase, or even restore memories. While humanity has yet to traverse the Rubicon into such cognitive manipulation, the implications are nothing short of exhilarating, albeit tinged with an undeniable frisson of apprehension. So what do you think? If you could erase a painful memory, would you do it? Or do our memories, good and bad, make us who we are? If you love hidden mysteries, like, and subscribe to Aranest for learning about Cyrus the Great did this 2,500 years ago, or the six incredible discoveries. Thanks for watching.